Hello and welcome to episode 34 of the AFK Hour podcast. I'm your host, Jay Lucio, and today we have Fire Splash 21. What do you do, baby? And Stevie Ray. Hey, welcome, guys. Stevie, this is your first episode of the of the new year. Welcome. Is it? <laughs> I, I believe oh. so. Other than Mildred, yeah. other than Mildred, but we recorded that before. The new year. Oh, I guess so, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's 2021. I had a I had a good I had a good break. Lots of lots of sleeping uh, during the winter break, but yeah, back to work. Yeah. <laughs> back to the grind right as they say yeah <laughs> as they say making us sound like we're old what the heck well we are going <laughs> okay whatever <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah let's just jump into it stevie what have you been up to this past week in gaming or whatever watching and whatnot i mean let's see how many times how many podcasts have i been on in the past couple months i mean i and, and i think the story stays the same I've been playing a lot of Destiny. <laughs> I've been playing an extremely large amount of Destiny. My hours have increased tenfold. Uh, <laughs> uh, the the new season is ending shortly. Uh, about two more weeks, and we got a new season. Um, so I'm so I'm excited for that. Uh, I'm still I, I've reached the level cap on three characters and. Uh, Right now, I'm literally just like grinding triumphs and exotics. Uh, that's my destiny grind. I've also been getting really into TFT. So I'm playing an extremely large amount of TFT. Um, so like, and, and it really just started from me just playing on my phone. Uh, like I was, I was just like, I was looking for things to do like while I was laying down and like kind of unwinding. And I just started, I just was like, you know, I'll, like, even though, like my whole thing with TFT was they changed the heroes very regularly. I was like, I was like, and that kind of turned me off. I was like, man, you know, I don't know how to play this anymore. You know, they changed everything. It's all different. Um, so I was like, you know, I'll just jump in there. Why not? Just see what I could do. And I started doing pretty good. I thought like I was, I was, you know, using all my auto chess knowledge. Cause for those who don't know, I was like on the ground level of, like like the the auto chess craze like when like i was pl i was playing the dota the dota mod for auto chess and before they did all of the the retail versions for like the tft and uh dota underlords so i really enjoy have i i've really grasped onto tft mostly because it, it's more it's more familiar i guess in the sense of like I have more. I know more people who have, who play League of Legends, and ha that also like that can kind of tell me some of these heroes. But some, but a lot of times, like I'm still very confused. <laughs> like, like this new set came out, and I had to relearn everyone. And I'm slowly learning because I don't know all the League of Legends champions. But it's funny because when I play with uh, friends who who play League. They're like, oh yeah, that's that's so and so. I'm like, oh, what the fuck that is? <laughs> and then and then like all of the items, like, oh, you should put this item on that on that person. I'm like, I don't even know what the he does. Um, so it's been like a like a good learning experience in that in that regard. So I really enjoyed my time with it because I'm I'm learning all of the like I said all the champions and like I said the new set just came out. Um, it's like the it's the second half of the fate set so set 4.5 i guess is what it is um so they got they got some new some new champions in there there's there's a big uh who is it i don't even know how to pronounce his name correctly and i feel embarrassed saying if it's uh rakin or rakin oh rakan rakan there you go yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, why I, that's why i play this so i can talk to people like lucio and other people that play league i'm like how the hell do you actually say his name <laughs> so rakan there's like a big rakan meta it's like rakan and then um there's another one who they consider i think it's it begins with n it's like naya or something like that um i can't remember her name but uh basically elderwood is the trait and there's a big meta going on we're basically like everybody's posting in the subreddit like like their games are just full with nothing but these heroes it's like those two heroes combined are very strong because they're both they're both elderwood keepers is like so so they and they have like crazy amounts of survivability so it's like no matter what you play against them 
It's like you like you can't kill them. So it's it's really tough. So the meta the meta's kind of screwed up right now, but it's but they they do really good um at like changing it up, mixing it up. So yeah. Um I mean that's some of what I've been doing. Uh and then I just I just dipped my toe back into Hitman. Um, cause I'm getting ready for Hitman three, uh, Hitman three just came out, but I hadn't finished Hitman two. So I went back and finished Hitman two this week. Uh, damn, I've been doing a lot. Holy crap. Like yeah. I've also been playing Hades. <laughs> Have you guys played Hades? Hades I have is not a good played game. Hades. Hades is a good game. You guys should check out Hades. All right. I could go probably keep going on and on. Uh, if you want to see more of what, I, what I'm doing, come, come and watch me play on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I mean, um, when we do see you on on Discord, you're always playing Destiny. And that's always a thing yeah. that's happening. And um, when you're not playing Destiny, you are playing um, TFT. <laughs> and honestly, TFT is really addicting. Like when I first when the first when it first came up with the first set or whatever, I was like, oh, this game's awesome. I played in the in the in the PBE server. So like mm -hmm. everything was really new and fresh. And like at, at the beginning I was hooked as much as you were, but um, I don't know. The thing that turned me off with the game was that you're like what you said, like every two weeks, there's like a mini update for the game. Like they're changing items or adding new items. They're changing rotating champions. And I guess that could be good because it makes the game fresh constantly. But I think they're doing it like the intervals of updating the game is too quick. That people aren't able to grasp a solid meta and then people are just like oh, okay whatever like, <laughs> well, like literally any like one meta that could be really decent at the beginning like and like at the beginning of the month could be really trash at the end of the month because they're <laughs> constantly updating and from my understanding there's always two updates every month and one being really big update like, mm -hmm. mo like multiple things changing and stuff like that yeah. or adding yeah. champions and whatnot yeah, the probably the I mean, probably the best time it's been to play was like right before this update dropped. There was like a solid month where they didn't change anything. And so it was like it and and the meta was in a really good place to where you could play so many things. Like there was probably I probably got first place games with at least five different traits. Like there was no one way to win, you know, there was, there was your care. Like almost every trait had one carry where if you got that carry and you beefed them up and you put items on it, then you're good to go. You know what I mean? And like, that's what I really like. I like options, especially in an auto chest like that, where like, it's like, you're not bogged down by fuck. I didn't get the meta player I needed versus it's like, oh, okay, I can use this. I know what to do with this. And then you can build around it. You know, that's that's when that's when it's at a really good state. So I will say right now, it's not a hundred percent like like there, but it's really like you have to go against the meta, and it's really hard to win if you if you're not meta right now. I know that um Jose was previously saying that he wants to play League of Legends because he got a brand new computer. So, uh, I mean, from hearing Stevie's um, knowledge oh, no. of Zip, he doesn't know oh, much about no. League of Legends. Would he still want to try League of Legends? There's a huge learning curve in it. Yeah, I, I mean, I've talked about this before. I was saying we could do we could do a, a league a league series where where we learn how to play League. Because <laughs> I I yeah. never played League. I I missed that train. I it, like I played like two games of league i'm pretty sure i have i have 100 percent win rate so i could go out on top you know <laughs> but, <laughs> but uh but yeah like i i just play like a couple intro games and man i i would be willing to learn i would definitely be willing to learn same i think i've played i think twice but the thing is i played on a laptop rookie mistake but you know it was one of those gaming laptops and my dumbass doesn't have a mouse. It was the mouse pad. So imagine like this, you know, <laughs> mouse pad like this. Instead of you know your your typical here's the mouse and here's the keyboard type of like ooh no you have to go like this, like this. <laughs> and the next thing I know is that was the last time I played with Leo Erebus ever again in League of Legends because yeah that was a terrible experience. Was was but, he trashing you? 
you, bro, he was like, hey, wait, what are you doing? What are you, you, know, you know, you know, Leo Hermes, he's always the, the tryhard, you know, you know how he is. Um, so if he was doing bad, then he'd let you have it. But I'm like, bro, this is barely my first game. And then he's like, why are you trash? I'm like, why am I playing on laptop? I am playing on wireless connection. He's like, nah, I'm going to nah, sir. <laughs> is it even possible to play uh, a league with a controller? I don't think so. Yeah, it doesn't so many... have that sitting because I would have learned. I would have been like, Ooh. yeah, there's too many key bindings and too many um, other things that you have to do. But they are coming out with a console version, aren't they? The, that Howard Winds or whatever. I, I think um... what they're doing is that they're doing. Uh, first of all, they're doing another like fighter game style where they're using a bunch of characters from League, and they're doing like a role playing game for League of Legends as well. So, I mean, for those games, it's possible that they have controllers because I'm, I mean, Valorant's another game that's made by the same company and they use controllers there. So yeah. like, it's completely possible that in the future games that they're developing that they have controllers. But as far as I'm aware of, maybe, I don't know, probably not. It, it should be possible. It should be because on Xbox, Smite is available and Smite is basically the counter to League. Same, you know, I mean, I would say same mechanics oh, right. because again, I don't play, you know, League. I did dabble in Smite, but in Smite you can use controller. So I would expect, like, not expect, but you know, they have the option if they so choose to, um, excuse me, to incorporate, you know, controller feature. I would rather them update their UI before <laughs> before they implement controller support. Yeah, there's a lot. Of things. <laughs> a lot of games have a lot of issues that they should handle first and handle something else that they did not expect them to handle. <laughs> Unless you're Blizzard, yeah. then you start making a bunch of games while your original UI is fucking trash. Like, yeah. Um, but yeah, I digress. Um, it seems like you had a very eventful week, even though you said that you didn't do much. And in reality, you played all the games. <laughs> For yeah, real. Here I am doing everything. Yeah. How, how about you, Jose? What have you been up to this past week? So I've been up to a lot of different things, you know. This, this week, I've tried, as you all have noticed, if you all were wondering what I was doing on my side of the camp, uh, I've started to incorporate protein into my daily intake so I could beef up everything. Oh, um, so hopefully that's something Ooh. new for the week. I'm hoping this doesn't make me fat because if it does, then <laughs> I'm going to stop with the protein because I, I did. This is like the second or third time I try protein. Usually my entire life, I've been able to work out without protein and I've been able, been able to get muscle. But the thing with me is I gain weight fast and I also lose weight fast. So this can either be good for me or bad for me. Um, we'll just have to see. But thus far, you know, it tastes pretty good. I got strawberry vanilla flavor into my protein <laughs> shakes. So I've been doing that for the week. And also something that, you know, is in the works is I'm trying to grab my crew for Warzone. So we can co cohesively come up with the perfect time to go ahead and display my shit skills at Warzone. And then later down the line, see like, yes, I've improved. I have improved offline because again, my KD before I started playing Warzone again was 0.35. And Lucio can atone to that because he saw my KD was garbage. Yeah, I, got, I also saw his gameplay and it was garbage too. Whatever, whatever. But you know, now it's at a point. It's a point seven five. That's a pretty big jump, and it'll take forever to get that one KD. But you know, that's in the works. Um, getting my crew, whether it be for trios or for quads, um, to go ahead and show that gameplay on Warzone and see how trash we are. We'll see how stupid we are with our decisions and spending money and or trying to survive in general. <laughs> um, what else? And then I've been uh, beefing up my resume. You know, just uh, fixing it here and there, just in case for future opportunities. Um, uh, let's see what else, uh, la, 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 la. I mean, I've been watching one piece, uh, highlights of one piece. I've been keeping up with the manga for one piece, uh, recently the 1000th issue or uh, chapter or whatever they call it, uh, okay. came out. Um, so it's getting pretty juicy. Um, and that's about it. Oh, I fixed my desk too. I used to have a little cover on top of my PC. It turns out it was uh, making my PC overheat. So I took that off and now it's like naked. Um, so it shouldn't be overheating. So I should be playing Warzone without worrying my, worrying about my PC like heating up too much. Oh, so you play Warzone on your PC? I thought you played on yes, your I, So oh, the thing was I did play it on my Xbox, but then I started playing on the PC because the graphics are way better. 
my internet connection is way better on PC because what I've noticed and it's because I've been dabbling with a bunch of, you know, computer features and then with internet features because I play wirelessly because my room is super far away from the modem and I'm not gonna have a hundred foot wire go through the through the living room and have my parents tell me something. So, you know, wired is it has to be. What I noticed is the card inside the Xbox is so I guess out of date or doesn't handle such capacity for the internet that you know my signal yes i'm supposed to get like a hundred and 120 gigabytes of whatever you call it download speed um but i only get roughly 10 or 20 download speed and that's pretty trash if i do so say myself and i noticed that because i would look at the, the modem settings and it uh, described what items were connected to that specific modem whether it be was my phone my pc and the xbox and it was you know listing on what was like the order so you had my pc first then my phone and then my xbox you had my pc at a hundred thousand i don't know what it was exactly you had my pc a hundred thousand you had my phone at fifty thousand and you had the xbox all the way to the bottom at only a thousand so again i don't know what that was specific but i knew that that's why my xbox was doing trash connection wise so i switched over to pc better graphics the internet is way better i don't lag as much the only thing is i still use controller okay i still <laughs> use that controller eventually i will whenever i have free time <laughs> we got some errors right here i took out the keyboard i took out the keyboard and oh 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 oh, oh. we got some some technical issues right here um give me give me a second there we go um i took out the what's it called <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're adding this to the blooper tapes, blooper tapes, boys and girls. Um, <laughs> no, we're gonna keep all this in. But yeah, I, <laughs> oh my God. Um, but yeah, when I have break. time, I will eventually play with keyboard and mouse. Um, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> um, and I was able to experience a zombie since it was free for like two weeks, and I grinded hard on zombies because I am. A connoisseur at zombie. No, I'm pretty sure no one in, in Safe Point is better than than me in zombies. Hey bro, we beat I can zombies. Say that for a fact. Yeah, I beat it the first day, we and did I too. didn't even know what was going on. Oh yeah, how much? How long did it take you? What, like an hour? It took twenty minutes, bro. Twenty minutes. Hey, bro, I, I already know you. You went through all the fucking tutorial video. You're like, okay, I, I can't fuck this up. Oh, well, I didn't. I didn't. I just. I was just told what to do and just survive. And you know, I know how to survive. Are you talking about? Are you oh, um, okay? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you talking about the Easter egg? Or are you talking about just extracting? No Easter egg. Easter egg. You Easter did the egg. full Easter egg yeah. in twenty minutes. Yeah. No. I think we went up to dude. round. We only ran up to round sixteen, maybe or eighteen. Dude, I don't so, believe you, but. <laughs> I was like, I'll have to do it on stream, but again, I don't, I don't own Cold War, so I have to wait until hopefully, you know, um, they have it for free again. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been up to. I know, know when they they are coming out with the new, um, they they did just announce like the the next map is coming out pretty soon. Um, I forget what it's called. It's like something Z, but it's coming out. I think in February, like the first or second week of February. So maybe we can all get together and play that. On my birthday? If it lands on my birthday, who baby? <laughs> um, as yeah. for me, what I've been up to is um I've been playing Minecraft with everybody and like mm -hmm. I'm already kind of getting a little burnt out because we've been playing that shit nonstop. So like I'm just like, okay, I need to take a break off Minecraft. Because I did everything I wanted to do. I I did everything with um the mod that I was working with, which is the immersive engineering i made a water mill i made a windmill i made a crusher all these things for to better mine uh, i made a gun and i'm just like okay well i beat this game <laughs> well for, like <laughs> obviously you can't beat the game but like i have these little goals of mine and when i achieve them i'm just like okay i beat the game like i don't have to play this anymore and that's what <laughs> i do for games that are like non-ending so because like like i said previously i have a very addictive personality so if i don't have these like little goals that I'm not gonna stop playing. So like once I do these goals, I'm just like, okay, I can't set another goal because I'm gonna just grind to like finish that goal. So like right now I'm just like, okay, let me just take a little break off Minecraft. So other than that, I've been playing um, the Dicey Dungeon, which is another, like it's a single player game. I'm trying to complete that game. And then <laughs> I, I finally 
I finally did um my placements for League of Legends. So like I have not played League of Legends for the past like two, three months, like two months. That's a lie. That's a lie. <laughs> no, it, it's true because like I there's two champions that came out and I haven't even I like I didn't play any of them. I had to buy them when mm. I first logged in. So like a new mm. and also there was a new um item rotation. There's brand new items and I've never played any of it. So when I played this past weekend, um, uh, all the items were brand new. There's two brand new champions. I don't know what the fuck I was going like what was going on. And I was pretty much like like I didn't know it was like a brand new game basically. Because like everything was different. And um what's it called? I there's 10 placement matches and I did my 10. I won one out and lost nine. <laughs> oh yeah. bro. Yeah, dude, that Wait, like so <laughs> And I was watching what? you do your plays. I saw it. So you only won that one, that very yeah, first game. I won game. my first game. Yeah, I won my oh, first game. My and then I lost my, the rest, the, all the other nine. I was like, okay, well, this is not going well. So then I, I played two more games and I won those. So right now I'm at a three for three, three wins, nine losses. And I got placed in gold two. So, I mean, that's pretty good. Like um, yeah. people, like um, there's a friend of ours. His name is Jake. And um, he went like six and four. And he was raging at me because he's like, I went six and four. I tried my balls off and like I got placed in silver four. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, oh shit, dude. I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. But yeah, like, I mean, I'm pretty amazed that I got placed so high, even though I lost so many games. So that's good. Um, I, like, usually whenever I play League, I just get to play and I just stop playing. And um, I've been interested in playing TFT as well. I've been playing it on the side because CV's been playing it so much. I'm just like, oh, okay, let me try it out again. And I see him play on stream. I'm like, okay, this makes me want to play. So I mean, I play once here and there. I just like, I, I, I think right now there's five placement matches. I did two. I got second in both. And then I just like stopped playing right now. Like I'm, I'm bronze too. So like, I'm not that high. <laughs> well, you got yeah. some weight to go. Yeah. Um, when I, last time I played, consistently in tft i got to plat one and i stopped playing and then i was like okay well i'm never gonna get diamond in this so i'm just gonna not try and i would play like rank here and there and yeah but um right now i'm gonna try to get to plat in league of legends and that's the only thing i'm really focusing on other than that um what else am i doing i i, I think that that's pretty much in, in gaming wise but yeah, yeah i play um let's go i play well i ended last season uh gold two and then i placed gold four and so far i've climbed to gold three so so i'm i'm on my way up I, i'm i've only lost like the only games that i've actually lost in tft so far this season have been games that i had to quit out early because it's like <laughs> like i or or games that i couldn't pay attention fully because TFT a lot of times is a very like, like, um, like I do it on the side, you know, it's like if I'm on my phone, like there's been times where I literally start a game and then I got to go help out with something around the house and I'm like, dang it, I can't do it. <laughs> like, uh, and then I end up like in, like in near last place. I'm like, oh man. And then I lose a lot of points, but luckily uh, I like it to where like, it doesn't, it doesn't demote you unless, unless you like lose a couple in a row. So that's good. So usually I get to like the very bottom and then I'll get on a win streak and then I'll go, I'll, I'll promote myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, like you said previously, or, and I also said, um, TFT is very addicting. Like it's something that you just put in the very, on the side and you don't have to, you put very minimal thing, like effort in it and you could occasionally do well. But if you like start focusing, you're like, oh fuck, there's so many things going on on these new items and these new champions, especially for you, since you don't know the new champions. <laughs> and the items, it, it's it could be overwhelming at times, and I can only imagine how Jose would feel. He doesn't know anything at all, and he, if you just throw him into a, a rank game, now nah, bro, he's gonna cry. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna take y'all down with me. <laughs> I, I think I think out of anything, TFT and auto chess in general is very easy to just jump in, because if you remember, like a couple of main principles: one, always go for like things, always go for sets. Like always go for similar traits, you know, like, and just see what happens. It's like, if you can get, if you can hone in on like one or two traits and, and like just build that up, it's really good. And then one thing that I've discovered recently is like, if you know what main trait you're going for, 
Think of all the heroes, because they all have two traits, at least two, sometimes three. If you have more than one, um, or like think of all the heroes that are in that trait. Think of think of another trait that that pairs with that. So it's like, okay, I'm going Elderwood. These guys got a couple keepers. Maybe I go Elderwood keeper. And then you just start getting more hero potential, like potential heroes that you can group up to build your set. And I think uh, by doing that, like it, it leaves me with so many more options. And and like even though I don't know these champions, I know the traits because I can read the traits and I know what they do. And then eventually I learn the champions because it's like oh, and then you can see like what's kicking your ass and like what like what's like yeah. what's good and what's not. You know, so you get to kind of see. And then like I'm like okay, who's this guy? What are they doing? What's their ult? Why is their ult hurting so much? Uh, but also uh, I did want to say like. Um, so as you say we play my cards like I played a little bit of Minecraft and like I do want to like hop back in, but also uh I've been playing Rust. <laughs> which oh is, my which is the other Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. Um and I, I just hopped on to a server that one of our friends owns. Um friend friend of the friend of the channel, Jess Pack. She has her she has her own um server with for her Twitch subscribers. And uh, so I've been playing on there with a couple couple of my friends there. And um, yeah, I mean, just getting into it because one of the things Rust resets every month. So I've just been kind of getting in and kind of dipping my feet. But I'm probably going to go hard when, when the server resets and kind of like jump in with everybody else uh, when, when it's like when it's very fresh and like everybody's just barely building their bases and stuff like that. Uh, so that should be pretty fun. So I uh, expect that coming soon. But yeah, I mean, there's just so much stuff. I, I feel like <laughs> none of the stuff that we talked about is a brand new game. <laughs> and and that's like, the, that's the state of 2021 so far. I was actually just talking with, about this with somebody else. It's like, what's coming out in 2021? It's like, there's nothing really like on the horizon other than like Hitman 3, which is the only game that I've been excited about recently. Like, there's nothing really like new, no new IPs and very little like new things coming out. Everything that's coming out is all like new seasons, new updates for existing games, which is good and bad. It's like if, it, if it's free updates, it's like, yeah, if it's paid updates, you're like, OK, well, I guess. But yeah, I don't know. So we'll we'll see what what comes around. But I'm I'm looking I'm looking for some new announcements soon. I'm, I want I want some new games. Well, I mean, um, well, only time can tell. Time will tell what new games are coming out because, like, once you said that, I'm just like, you're right. Like, there's nothing I'm looking forward to in 2021. Like, for a new IP, that is. Yeah. So, yeah, your your point is very. I mean, I just, I guess, I never thought about that. Yeah, I mean, we had we've had like all of these feelers, you know, like like we we had the game awards and we had that we had like a little bit of E3 teasers. We had we had teasers and a lot of like teased ips and like teased games but we haven't seen a lot of footage other than like yeah. trailers so it's like there hasn't really been a big influx of new stuff there hasn't been a nintendo direct in so long so there hasn't even been like a new nintendo ip like yeah. I'm, I'm but but it, that just comes with the holidays it's like they announce they they announce everything around the summer and the fall and then they do the big holiday push and then right now it's like that low point yeah, so I'm expecting like hopefully spring they they announce more new stuff. Hopefully before then, but um, I mean we got we do have virtual BlizzCon coming up pretty soon, and fingers crossed. I I think that they're gonna announce at least a release date for Overwatch Two, if not oh, yeah. like actually just launch it. Like that would be amazing. Like Overwatch is in a really bad state, and for those that don't know, like that's one of my favorite games. Um, I just like like it's just nothing is dragging me to go play overwatch right now you know like the meta is really weird they haven't released new champions in so long they haven't released new maps in so long it's like everything that they've done is just balance changes and and new skins like there's nothing bringing me back to overwatch right now which is sad because it's one of my favorite games yeah which is why i went to my other favorite game destiny <laughs> so but 
so I'm hoping it's like they're gonna be like Overwatch 2 coming May. It's gonna be the same. It's probably gonna be the same release date. This is my my bold prediction here. It's like <laughs> BlizzCon, virtual BlizzCon, announcing Overwatch 2. Um, out it's now. Be the same. <laughs> it's gonna be. It's either gonna be out now or out in what was it May? I think May is the original release date of of uh, Overwatch. And then they're gonna say. How many new heroes? I'm gonna say One new hero. <laughs> I'm gonna well, imagine. Oh no, no. I'm gonna say if it's a paid, if it if Overwatch Two is paid, I'm gonna say six new heroes and four new maps. And they already said that there's gonna be a new game mode, which is like that yeah. push, the, the push, push the guy or whatever. So that that's my prediction. So six heroes, four maps. Isn't there like a campaign as well in the new yeah, one? Yeah, it's gonna be a big story campaign, which is why I'm predicting so many new heroes because it's like they, they're gonna want more characters for that, I think. Like brand yeah. new characters. It's like that, that swoop in and introduce themselves, you know. Is it, do you think <laughs> it's gonna be full retail sixty dollars game? Or it's gonna be like a forty dollar online whatever? You know, my my wallet wants it to be forty dollars, but I really, I, because it's it's Blizzard and not only Blizzard, it's also Activision. Activision ain't gonna let that fly for no 30, 40 bucks. They're gonna want it to be a full retail that they can put it in a box, yeah. and and sell. That's very true. So, Activ yeah, I mean, I guess through the business aspect, like that's what they would want. But I guess for the consumer. Like, like fans, long-term fans, it'll be better for forty dollars. But yeah, I don't know. It's interesting though. Yeah. yeah, I mean, and and like the proposition of the two, it's like they they keep saying like we're reinventing like what a sequel is. You know, oh. it's like it's not like not really gonna be new. You know, but yeah, I, I digress. I mean, we'll we'll see. But that's my prediction. But so take it with a grain of salt. But I think it. I, I don't know. Um, that's the only thing that I know it's coming soon or should be coming soon that I can legit get excited for. Another thing that's coming soon is um, the new Halo. Like, But that wasn't supposed to be released in 2021. It, it just got delayed to 2021. Yeah. So, so I mean, I guess the only other games I, like that are coming out in 2021, I feel like are games are being that were or initially that were going to come out in 2020, but got delayed because of COVID. And now they're coming out in 2021. Yeah. So uh, there's, there's still some games out there that I, that I really want to play, you know, like uh, I, I've never been a Yakuza fan, but I really want to try out Yakuza like a dragon. I've heard really good things about that. It looks really funny. Um, like I'm, I'm playing Hades right now. Uh, and like I said, Hitman 3 just came out. I really want to finish that story. Yeah. So, I mean, there's things to do. Yeah. Uh, it's like we're still in this pandemic, you know, but I mean, we're finding things to do. I mean. Uh, Jose is getting swole with his protein. <laughs> Wait, can you do a little flex again? Can, can you do a hard oh, flex? flex, bro? The flex right here, bro. Dude, I can't, bro. Get your Popeye with Sailor Man, man. Popeye with this. What was it? Not spin, was it spinach? The spinach? Yeah, yeah spinach. <laughs> da, 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 I got my spinach da, da. in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> So I mean that's what we've pretty been we've been pretty much up to be playing these games and whatnot, and um, so we're gonna talk we're gonna jump to the next section which is more um, game or what's it called uh, sports heavy. So last week we made a prediction of who's gonna go to the the Super Bowl. Mister Fire Splash Twenty One, we have our very own reporter Fire Splash Twenty One reporting for duty. All right, I got some first medical key medical updates from this this past week's playoff. Um, results. So it turns out, obviously, with with the uh, Chiefs and the Bucks going to the Super Bowl, there was some injuries coming into those games. So for the for the Bucks, the NFC representatives, they are out with their strong safety and the free safeties. Both are injured. They are considerable questionable for the game. Um, I know it's Antoine Winfield Jr. Um, I'm assuming he's gonna be strong safety, and I forgot the other guy's name. I'm not a Bucks fan, so I apologize. Um, but they are, they did pick up some injuries. One was a shoulder injury and the other was an ankle injury. So let's see how they're going to fare. You know, the secondary is a key defensive hole 
that the Bucks hopefully facing Mahomes, you know, have at full strength. As far as for the Chiefs, no notable injuries from what I saw and heard from, but we did figure out from this to, from today that Cole Beasley, the receiver from the Buffalo Bills, was playing the game with a broken freaking fibula. How is this man playing football, <laughs> no less in a playoff game, with a broken freaking fibula? Ladies and gentlemen, you've seen it all. You've seen people walk with torn ACLs, and now you've seen people play with broken fibulas. Damn, the <laughs> NFL has some super athletes. In general, NFL. No, no, no. They NFL. have super drugs, bro. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I am not, this reporter is not spreading any rumors here. I'm just here reporting medical updates. But... <laughs> It looks like it's going to be a Super Bowl for the history books, folks. You got the GOAT, Tom Brady, six Super Bowl rings, 10th Super Bowl appearance versus baby GOAT Mahomes vying for his back-to-back -back Super Bowl rings. So you have a record of 6-3, and three, Tom Brady, versus 1-0, and oh, Patty Mahomes. Fellas, who do you think is going to take the chip? Well, before we jump into that, um, I wanted to ask for your medical expertise. Does Patrick Mahomes, does he still see stars and little birds or is he good? No, no, he, he's good. I mean, he played the game. You know, the Chiefs won, like yeah. I said, I predicted if Mahomes was going to play, it's going to be, you know, the Chiefs going. But, you know, he's not seeing any stars because if he was, he was not going to be playing that game. And if he did play that game, you could expect a hefty fine from the Kansas City Chiefs. But... That's all for medical updates from, you know, Fire Splash 21's station. But everything looks good to go for the Super Bowl. Okay, I mean, I guess we could do the first um, predictions. Um, Stevie, who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? Okay, so I haven't been following really, like, NFL at all this year. Um, I generally, generally, I've always been uh, a Patriots fan. And... Uh, I was definitely a Tom Brady fan, so it was, it was it's definitely a tearjerker and a heart heart puller uh, to see Brady playing for another team. Um, Brady's the goat, but man, Mahomes and the Chiefs, they they are just like going lights out, man. Like like their their offense is is really good and like. But also, also Aaron Rodgers and his offense was really good. So I don't know, man. If I had to put it on paper today, I'm gonna say uh, I gotta go against my guy Brady and say Chiefs take it 28, 21. I mean, that's a pretty good uh, prediction, honestly. How about you, Fire Splash? So what I learned from this past week <laughs> is you don't bet against the GOAT. Mr. Brady is on his 10th Super Bowl appearance. But you've got a baby GOAT that we've seen, <laughs> that we haven't seen like no other, you know? Yeah. He's, this guy has already won one Super Bowl and he's already in... <clears throat> in GOAT conversation. So that's pretty scary. But I ain't no bet. I, I, I am a betting man. Trust me. I have a horrible addiction. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> but if I had to put it, I'm going to say, and it pains me to say it because I've been saying Chiefs all the way, but I'm going to say it's going to be Mr. Tompa Bay, a.k.a. Tom Brady, winning his seventh ring. Seventh ring. Last week, what was your prediction to, to, to win? I did say Chiefs were going to win it, um, but... No, you said if from the other side, I don't... the Bills will win, and you said yeah, that... No, no. Yeah, if Mahomes didn't play, the Bills will win. That's what you said. Yeah, but Mahomes played, so I said yeah, if Mahomes played. played, Chiefs would win. So yeah. Chiefs... But I don't remember from the other side, um, specifically, but I did say Chiefs were going and and the other one, I said the dream matchup was always going to be Brady versus Mahomes, and we're getting that dream matchup. Yeah. So I'm going with that. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I said say the dream matchup is right there. As for me, I feel like from watching both the both the teams the entire season, I feel like this 
the Super Bowl is going to be very impact, like it's going to be high velocity, very high scoring game. I think um, the I think the final score is going to be like in the 40s, like 40, 49. I don't know who's going to. Okay. I'm trying to think. Kansas City has a very explosive offense, and then but Tampa Bay just has Tom Brady, and Tom Brady knows how to win games. And they did beat um, Kansas City two years ago for the AFC Championship. So maybe Mahomes wants revenge for that shit because they're like, "Oh, that was my that was supposed to be my first debut in the Super Bowl." I don't know what. Wait, hold on, Lucio, Lucio, hold on. I have I'm coming in with breaking news. I have breaking okay. news coming in. That way, before you make a prediction. This is the first time in NFL history that a home team or a team going to the Super Bowl has home field advantage because this year's Super Bowl is taking place in Tampa Bay. So you have the Bucks having home field advantage. And I will just give you a small snippet. Tom Brady and Mahomes are currently 2-2 two and two against each other. So we have the fifth appearance and let's see who has the edge. But you may continue. Breaking news has been just dropped on the AFK Hour podcast. Go ahead and give your <laughs> prediction, sir. I honestly think that Mahomes is going to is going to bring the he's going to bring the dub home to Kansas City. He's going to get his second champ he's going to get his second ring and Tom Brady is unfortunately going to fall short. Um that's what I think. What I hope, I hope Tom Brady gets his seventh ring and then everyone's going to be like, "Oh fuck, he Tom Brady, he sold his soul to the devil, bro." Like <laughs> seven oh, rings. <laughs> Seven rings, that's impossible. <laughs> but yeah, that's insane. Like if he gets seven rings, that's that's insane. But um yeah, I think Kansas City's gonna be 49 and um the Buccaneers is gonna be like a 45, like off by a field goal, like super close game. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's my prediction. Um, but like Tampa Bay has so many like weapons. They have um Chris Godwin, they have um um Fournette, Leonard Fournette. They have Scotty Miller. They have um, who's a he, he runs as fast as the cheat. Well, not not as fast, but pretty much damn near close to the, the cheetah who's in um, Tyreek Hill. Um, he, he's the deep threat. And also they have um, well, is he is he still injured or not? Um, what's his name? The one from Pittsburgh Steelers. He retired. Oh. He, wait, the one that retired. Oh, Antonio and, Brown. Yeah, Antonio Brown. Oh, oh no, he's he was injured for this past game. I have no medical update on Antonio Brown. But sources do say that Antonio Brown plans on playing because especially his old teammate, Le'Veon Bell, is with the Kansas City Chiefs. So you oh, got some... True, that is man. very true. So I do expect Antonio Brown to play for the for the Tampa Bay Bucks, and I do expect Le'Veon Bell to be active. I do not expect him, though, to make a huge contribution because they do have... Um, I can't say this halfback's name, but he's a rookie. Played X Alex. I can't say his name, but yes, that's what he is. Well, Tom Brady has so many weapons, and then post Patrick Mahomes on the other side, he has what? Travis or Travis Kelsey on Tyreek Hill. Um, the the running back, I always forget his name. Like, uh, I, well, I can't forget. I don't forget his name. I just can't pronounce it. Like, yeah, yeah, the rookie. Yeah, the rookie. And like on top of that, they have Andy Reid. Andy Reid is like. One of the best coach, coaches currently. Everyone thought it was Bill Belichick, but nah, fuck that guy. He went seven and whatever, seven and nine in the postseason or in the regular season. And um, Andy Reid, I mean, he he's already gone to two Super Bowls. He's going to win the second one. I feel like his coaching is like up to par. Um, on the other side, on the Buccaneers, I feel like the only coach is Tom Brady yelling at his team. That's all the coach that they need because Tom Brady motivates yeah. his team really well. But... Uh, the morale for Tampa Bay should be like off the chart because they have home field advantage. They have Tom Brady. They have so many weapons. They're, I mean, I guess maybe they're expected to win, even coming up to this. I don't know. But my prediction is that I'm gonna go with Kansas City's gonna win. So I'm gonna go with Mahomes. So yeah. Well, only time will tell. Two weeks till Super Bowl. Next week is the Pro Bowl, correct? Right. Uh, it's supposed to be Pro Bowl, but with COVID, there's not even an actual. Pro Pro Bowl, so I don't know what they're gonna have in substitution for it. Mm -hmm. um, but no Pro Bowl this year. Okay. Right. Okay. So for the next um, sports news, Stevie. Yeah. So this Sunday, Sunday, Sunday um, is <laughs> uh, Royal Rumble, which is one of the big four pay per views for uh, the WWE. 
Um, but also we got some late breaking news from uh, WWE sources say, <laughs> I don't know if they're the same sources that plus say has, but uh, <laughs> Uh, sources are saying that um, <laughs> now WWE and uh, NBC, uh, the owners of the Peacock Network, the Peacock TV streaming service, uh, have come up with a deal. So the uh, for the exclusive streaming rights for the WWE Network. So starting, I believe, in March or May, something like that, uh, they will be um, all of the WWE content and the WWE Network will be on Peacock TV uh for the same price pretty much i mean so apparently you can get it for for five you can get peacock tv for five bucks with ads or uh ten dollars without ads so um right now i, I i'm paying 9.99 for the for the wwe network so it's an easy trade so i'm 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 really happy with this uh it's like cool uh, i can i can get to see a bunch more stuff that uh for the paying the same price that I already was paying. So that's going to be a good trade for me. <laughs> so I think, I think that's going to be pretty cool. And uh, they're promising more more specials, more stuff. I don't know the exact number, but WWE got paid. They they got really paid. And their, their partnerships with NBC have been for years. I mean, they, their flagship show, which is WWE Raw, um, that's every Monday. Been on there every Monday for the past so many years. And even before then, um, so yeah, so it, the the partnership and and everything it makes makes a lot of sense. It doesn't make as much sense when you look at WWE SmackDown, which is on Fox, and then their deals with Fox Sports One. But also, Fox doesn't really have a, like a streaming service or something like that, like Peacock. So uh, it's it's really weird. Like this whole the whole thing's really weird because you got NBC and Fox. It's like you got the the brand split. And I, I know that there's like a lot of like like TV negotiations and things like that play into it. Like like Fox wants to serve this demographic. So they have these superstars go to go to SmackDown and then NBC wants another demographic. So they want these guys. So it's really interesting. Uh, I'm excited to see how it all plays out. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. But I know uh, our other wrestling connoisseur on this, on this podcast i want to know what you think about it so what so my sources are a little bit different from your sources <laughs> what i've what i've gathered i this you're exactly correct you know the peacock um or nbc and wwe have come to terms to an agreement however they don't know exactly how it's going to impact the u.s based you know subscribers what I was looking to earlier and what I've been told earlier is that those who have the subscription to what's it called WWE Network on the UK side will not have to worry about anything, you know, because they their situation is a lot more different because, again, uh, I see what you mean. it's just different over there. Here, again, it's a, it's a toss and turf type of thing. Like, you know, are those who have subscription already are going to be able to be transferred over there? Or like, do they have to go through a completely new process of subscribing to Peacock and all that, you know? And mm. and it's only if, I know that obviously WWE are gonna have their numbers still. People are, if they wanna watch the product, they're gonna go subscribe to Peacock just to watch WWE, obviously. But you know, maybe the, some people are like, nah, I don't wanna get another streaming service. Like I just solely did WWE only. And you know, you lose those kinds of numbers. So those are still in flux because we don't know if it's just a simple, you know, just go ahead and just grab that and go, you're good to go. Or you actually have to purchase the Peacock um, subscription in order to watch WWE and you know, your subscription to WWE just ran, just like disappears because again, it's no longer a thing, you know? Um, but yeah. aside from yeah, that, I mean, that like, makes sense. yeah, that's, that's the, that's one of the major things like, yes, it's a good, you know, again, WWE got paid and they always, they always get paid, you know? I have a lot more to say, especially in stuff in the past that happened, especially with the whole what they call Black Wednesday that happened in WWE. But, you know, WWE always plans, you know, will always make money. It's always going to be there. Um, the content itself is very questionable to certain fans, you know, <laughs> some of us prefer the the Attitude Era over the PG Era. But, you know, it is what it is. It does do it does bring a question on how it is going to affect Fox, you know, because, yes, 
brand split it and i always say brand split lol because again it's not really a brand split per se um it's mainly more for the networks themselves but it you know it's something to look at in the next couple of weeks on how it is going to impact fox per se it might not impact it at all who knows but yeah. it is there are rival companies because you know nbc and fox are not you know just different uh but it is something to keep an eye on but there is something coming this Sunday that has a lot of people on their betting odds to see who's going to win said Rumble CB. <laughs> yeah, so uh so yeah, so I mean with that, I mean I I would like to see what your prediction is. I know George, you don't really have a have have too much of a say in this, but I will I'm going to give you let's see. Let's let's play let's play a game with George, okay? All right, we're going <laughs> to give him let's give him 5 Let's give him like five wrestler names and then he's going to pick which one he thinks will win just based off of their names. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll, we'll just go like, okay, okay. I'll say one. Uh, the fiend. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'll say you say one. Um, big E. Okay. Uh, Randy Orton. He's still in it. Oh yeah. look, yes. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> um, Keith Lee. Keith Lee. Okay. Um, let me say another one. Let me think of another one. Uh, <laughs> oh man, let me think of this one. <laughs> uh, Mustafa Ali. Mustafa Ali. That sounds very familiar. Those are your five. Those are your five. <clears throat> yeah. Right, I, so I remember the oh, food. And Randy Orton, Mustafa Ali, Keith Lee, and Big E. <laughs> well, from my understanding, isn't Randy Orton like the legend crusher? Like he beat legends. The legend killer, yeah. Or the legend killer or whatever, yeah. yeah. Like he, yeah, yeah. he was hated because he would beat all these legends back in the day yeah. when he was barely coming up. That's when yeah, I used yeah, to watch yeah. wrestling, bro. Like, as la madre, wey. Like, <laughs> it's been forever. <laughs> that's why i'm surprised like he's still in it like i thought he's like retired by now like yeah no, nah, bro, he's actually thriving he's years. doing really good like he's like reinventing yeah. himself and stuff it's really oh, good really is he a quote unquote good guy or a bad guy really right now it's hard to tell what he is is he currently like a good guy or a bad guy no he's he's definitely a bad guy right now uh, okay i don't know that, that's, that's a to comfort tell. zone to be honest yeah yeah. So okay. So out of those five wrestlers, uh, just just on their names alone, not knowing anything about what's going on, who do you think would win? I think the Fiend sounds very menacing, so mm -hmm. I would want that person to win. The Fiend. The Fiend. Yeah. Well, believe it or not, I'm actually going to agree with Lucio. <laughs> and what? I think, I think, Whoa. I think the, the Fiend is going to make a comeback this Sunday. He's been gone because Randy Orton burned him alive. <laughs> <laughs> so we can, you can look that up, George. <laughs> Randy Orton burned the Fiend alive. And, but yeah. I think that the Fiend makes his Royal Rumble return and um, wins it all and will face either Roman Reigns or um, who else or Drew McIntyre for the for the world championship well hopefully Drew McIntyre hopefully yeah <laughs> who, do, who do you think <laughs> fires flash so based off my recent watches of Smackdown um, I feel like it's gonna be a Smackdown superstar that wins the rumble for, for the men's Royal Rumble um, my Everyone wants Big E to win. I know everyone wants Big E to win. And recently Shinsuke Nakamura has been getting that that rub. But uh, I but he I won it. Going... He won it already. Yeah, he's won it already. So I don't think they're gonna go with a two-time Royal Rumble winner, I think. So I'm gonna go with Daniel Bryan. That's gonna he's gonna win the Rumble. Daniel Bryan. Daniel I, Bryan. I, I could see him winning. I, I could see him winning. Another person I could see winning is is somebody like uh, AJ Styles. I don't know if he's even in the match, but I could see AJ yeah. Styles pulling one yeah. out. That being his first WrestleMania win. You know what I mean? You um, mean Rumble win? Yeah, ru sorry, Rumble win. Yeah, to go to WrestleMania. Yeah, I could see that. But yeah, yeah so I so yeah, the Fiend, 
or Br Daniel Bryan, man. The, both of those are, I think they're good picks, but it's anybody's game. Uh, if you guys are part of Safe Points Discord, we'll be watching it this Sunday. So feel free to join us. Uh, also, uh, we have the Women's Royal Rumble as well. Uh, yes. This one will keep it short and sweet. Uh, I only have one pick, and I think it's the only pick, and that's yeah. Bianca Belair. Yep, yep. I, you said it I pick. think Bianca Belair, she is the truth. She is freaking, she's more swole than, than uh, Fire Splash over there. Yeah, she's pretty swole. She's pretty swole, bro. <laughs> and uh, she's 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 got she's got what it takes. She I think she broke the record what last year for the women's Royal Rumble whatever, for eliminations yeah, or something like that. But I I'm fully expecting them to give her like the Shawn Michaels treatment, putting her in really early and her going all the way eliminating everyone. So that that's my that's my prediction. I think I think she's just gonna start and finish it. And just to, just, because that's how you build new, that's how you build new superstars. And she's very green. She's very new. So I, that's, that's what I think is going to happen. Here, I have I, a question for Fire yeah. Splash real quick. Um, What's up? Sorry. Um, yeah. Out of all the wrestlers out there in the world that's ever been, which wrestler do you think you could be in a match? Since oh, you're yo. <laughs> oh my. Yo, you you and your question. <laughs> I mean, that's honestly, honestly, I mean, I would say, um, and again, if any of any of these people watch, I'm just joking, you know, this guy just always <laughs> has questions. I love it. But I think, oh, I forgot his name. I can't believe it. He was in a feud with AJ Styles and Dean Ambrose. I forgot his name. Seth He's Rollins? like, oh. You know, he had to, he was he was oh, uh, fucking, uh, um, yes i know who you're talking about yeah, I don't know he, he looks like a <laughs> yeah yeah no chin he had no chin yeah i can't remember i can't remember his name but is this little skinny dude that had like it's like really yeah yeah, yeah. james yeah. ellsworth james ellsworth there you go yeah james ellsworth <laughs> there you go that's the guy i could i could hopefully beat in a in a ring but again all these guys are professionals you know you think those slaps are fake they're real and yes you <laughs> that's I, real if i was if i if i was a trained wrestler the person mm -hmm. i would be i would love to be booked against and going over so so i'd probably pick i'd probably pick somebody like like uh oh man i'm trying to think like i want to say somebody like xavier woods or um like somebody that's about my height you know what i mean <laughs> like i've met xavier woods in person he's, he's about my height and i'm like i'm like who would i get booked against because they wouldn't book me against somebody like big e to go over it's like, <laughs> like me against this big dude like nah man like maybe somebody like i if anything i would be like a cruiserweight I'm not even, I'm like, I'm like, I'm rocking like 205 right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, somebody like that or like Enzo. Oh man, that'd be so much fun. But you know, he's not yeah, wrestling Enzo. anymore. But, uh, but yeah. Ooh, baby. <laughs> but yeah, so some kind of cruiserweight uh, for the cruiserweight title. <laughs> the The matchup that I would pay top dollar to watch on pay-per-view is fire splash 21 versus um the big show like, oh. just, <laughs> i would pay top dollar i could just imagine fucking jose fire splash trying to hit him he runs around him but the second that the big show catches him he's dead bro like he's gonna fucking die <laughs> bro my i'm as tall as ray mysterio <laughs> I'm gonna get wrecked. David versus Goliath. For real, one shot to the chest like this, and Yala Ali, bro. <laughs> he makes your heart stop. Wait, he hits bro. you so hard. He's gonna be like, I'm like, ah. Uh, <laughs> dude, that's what the if, if we ever get IRL content, I want I want to see us. We need to go. We all need to get chopped by a wrestler. Bro. <laughs> one time. bro. Yeah, you gotta Whoa, take a wrestler's no chop. Take... <laughs> what would be your wrestling name, Jose? Um, damn, I I don't know. I I I play WWE games and I've always used my my real name because I mean, 
I know not everyone <laughs> uses their real name. They always have an in ring name, but I always, I've always used my ring name and my real name. Um, but I mean, if I had to think of one one on the fly, it would be. Um, uh, yeah, it would be. What did you do, baby? Uh, <laughs> Uh, I don't know what his I, name I, would I, be, I, but I, I know his finishing move would be the fire splash. Oh, that'd be really <laughs> good. <laughs> it's like this. You get up on the chair and you oh, just... <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> but, um... Oh, man. I, I've always said, like, uh... Because I actually, I actually got really interested in, in like... I knew I could never be a wrestler because my ankles are terrible. But I always thought about about being a manager, like somebody who talks on the mic for, for one of those. And I was like, and I I came up with a whole gimmick. It was like I'd I'd come out I'd come out like uh, in total like hip hipster plaid, and with like a with like a vest, and then just telling berating everybody and telling them how how they need to eat they need to eat all the hipster food and that the food that they're putting in their bodies is terrible. <laughs> And that this guy over here, he eats all the best foods, organic, green fed, and boo, and boo. <laughs> dude, no, I could imagine it now, dude. You could be Jose's manager. You're like, talk a big game. And I don't know why oh. this guy's badass. And then you're like, my wrestler's right here, Fire Splash 21, and some scrawny little dude. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> dude, That'd be like the best. That'd be like the best story. It's like, I'd be hyping up this dude, and like, nobody sees him for like weeks. They're like, I hype him up, I hype him up. Uh, here he is. Oh my god, dude. That'd be so that'd be really good, man. We need to make it happen, dude. In one of our <laughs> live streams, we need I mean, to make that <laughs> shit work. <laughs> Maybe maybe when we maybe when the next WWE game comes out we we make we make some creative wrestlers. <laughs> we do yeah. we do a story. That that is a different topic though for another day because we don't know if that's even gonna happen. I mean, we had we had like the three foot what was it the 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 the, the, the Madden NFL player? We could have like the the four foot the the four foot WWE five, wrestler. Five, <laughs> That'll be, that'll was, be a fun. Uh, he makes the jump from the NFL to the WWE <laughs> ring. Oh, oh shit. He, yeah. he's, he, not only is he an uh, NFL player, but he's a Super Bowl winning quarterback. <laughs> yes, this is how it's going to go. Look, look, boys, boys, cash money right here. Live in theaters sometime in 2024. A 5'5 five five <laughs> NFL QB Super Bowl champion makes the jump to the WWE ring. Watch as he goes against different wrestlers from different states of the United States. Will he survive and become a WWE champion or will he fall and get demoted into the indie scenes? The different states of the United States. <laughs> oh my dude, I mean the reason why your quarterback your quarterback had to retire because he got injured, right? Yeah, this guy got he he, he got he got. I mean, that's bro. where that's where people retire to. They retire to the WWE now. Uh, that's yeah. so funny, yeah. dude. Oh, you think? Hey, you think <laughs> McGregor's gonna retire to the WWE? Hey, I Maybe. mean, that's a pretty petty. That's gonna be a pretty petty. After yeah, he got put to fucking sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Oh man. <laughs> um, for those that don't know, um, Fire Splash Twenty One had like a mini series um on his own personal channel. That he wanted to make a quarterback on Madden his height, and for for those that don't know, Jose is also really short. Well, I well, I guess you are really short, yeah. I am <laughs> average really for our our for Hispanics. Okay, I'm average. So like he he made a quarterback that's five five, and every time he would throw the ball, he would hit the back of the head of the O line. Like that's how short he is. The only way that he was going to do anything if he ran, because no one expects a 5'5 five, five quarterback to haul ass. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, but I did it. I took my team to the Super Bowl, and then the next season, I tore my ACL. 
<laughs> he was riding. He was running too much. Like fucking Taurus ACL. Yep. <laughs> uh, yep. I remember I had I was playing for the Raiders and Derek Carr had to come in and he threw five picks and I was like, it's GG's boys. <laughs> oh, but a Derek Carr. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Put the injured guy back. <laughs> oh man, that was just too funny, man. But yeah, we need to make it happen, dude. Like the manager stuff and then the wrestling, that'd be fucking badass. <laughs> I'm down. YouTube, new YouTube series coming soon. <laughs> the life of a... So yeah, uh, so yeah, let us know what you guys think. If you guys are interested in that, um, leave a message or leave a comment down <laughs> below. And yeah, don't, like always, like don't forget to subscribe, like the video. And um, this is Save Point signing out. We'll check, check us out at the next Save Point. See ya. Bye. Ha <laughs> ha.